Hi there, my name's Anne-Marie. I live in Melbourne, Australia, and I have AS. Um, like most people with AS, I'm always looking for ways to keep my symptoms at bay and stay healthy. And for me, movement is a really important part of that. Um, so for me, discovering yoga for AS was a real godsend because the exercises are safe and they help me feel confident in my body, they help me feel safe, that I'm not risking injury. The fact that the instructors have AS themselves I think is a huge plus because the guys really understand which areas of the body are vulnerable, which areas really need to be stretched, how to break down inflammation and how to do so in a safe, in a safe way. Um, since I've been doing yoga for AS I have increased my range of movement and my flexibility. Um, my rheumatologist um, noticed a real difference at my last visit which was fantastic um, and I just feel that it's given me something for myself something to help me keep moving and I'm really appreciative of the program. So with AS in my life my doctor often recommends exercise as part of managing the AS symptoms however as a lot of us know um, exercise with AS can be painful and it can it can drain the energy but with the care taken by Jamie and Jeff, who both have AES, so they understand, they understood how I could adjust my approach to yoga without pain. Hi, I'm Jeff. My AES started when I was uh, 24 in 1973 um, with a pain in my hip whenever I wore tight jeans. And I thought, I'm crazy. I actually didn't know what any of that was for another 37 years and when I was diagnosed in 2009. And during that time, I was having flares, I was doing a lot of wrong things, but the big thing that I started doing that was right in 1990, after about 15 years of symptoms, was I started going to yoga. AS specialist physiotherapists said to me that they thought it was the yoga I'd been practicing for 20 years that had kept me in pretty good shape. And so I took from that that I needed to continue the yoga, I realized it was that that was really helping this condition. Before I was diagnosed, I didn't even know I had a condition. And I was kind of on my own. And then in 2018, I met Jamie. Hi, I'm Jamie, and I've had AS since I was 14. When I was diagnosed, it turned my whole life upside down. I went from being, you know, a highly competitive skateboarder who you know, moved every single day extensively. I was jumping down stairs and railings. It was a big part of my identity, but also, you know, I was young and thought I had my whole life ahead of me. And then when I couldn't walk and I literally was limping around everywhere, it was this huge feeling of just dread and overwhelm and fear. And when I was diagnosed, I thought, yeah, okay, I can fix this, I have this mindset, I can fix it, again, I can throw everything at it and it will be, it will be okay. The moment where everything changed was when I realized that fighting was hurting me, that fighting was literally making the symptoms worse. Fighting is stressful. It's a lot easier to say, you know, I'm gonna make peace and I'm gonna use that energy to work to recover a better quality of life. Shortly after I was diagnosed, I went to a support group quite reluctantly. I didn't really want to go, I didn't really want to even begin accepting I had this condition, but something inside of me said, I'm gonna go to this. So when I got there, it was quite an overwhelming experience. I'd never met anyone with AS, and there were a lot of people there who had had a lot of visible progression of the disease. And then I saw one man there who had cycled to the group, okay? First of all, I was like, well, that's impressive in of itself. And at the time, he was around just, just nearly 70. And after we did some hydrotherapy in like a heated pool, I saw him do some yoga. I thought, hmm, okay, that's interesting. And then I saw him not just be able to touch his toes, but he could put his palms flat on the floor. So that's like a range of motion that is above average for the average population. That's like amazing. And I thought to myself in that moment, oh, there is hope. We did a little session of yoga modified for AS there and then. We've got the photos actually. But gradually, 
we realised that there was a common purpose. Yeah. And we had to do it. Yeah, because we both started to recognise that there was such a helpful practice. Yoga is so universally helpful for AS. However, the way that it's taught in most yoga classes, at gyms, at studios, can a lot of the time be inappropriate for people with AS. Yeah. Especially if they're in a flare or there's something specifically going on in an area of the body where the teacher might not understand, but also from a standpoint of things like fatigue. Yeah. And that's not usually addressed in a standard yoga class. Yeah. We want to show people that universality of this practice can work for you once you learn the tools. It's not just stretching, it's not just a physical practice. There's so much more to it that can really help. Yoga Nidra is a form of non-sleep deep rest. So essentially it's training the body into a state similar to deep sleep. And that's one of the things that we promote at Yoga for AS is yoga isn't just the physical practices. Yoga Nidra is a non-physical practice that can actually really help with fatigue. We started doing one-to-ones and we thought, okay, well, this might help people. We'll see how it goes. After these one-to-ones, people would come back saying they're able to get back to the activity they used to do. Their range of motion has improved. Mm. They're, they're having less pain, less fatigue. So we started offering live online classes via Zoom. And we started getting people from all over the world come and join. And it was something really special because people from Australia, America, the UK, India would come to these classes and they all had AS. It was mind blowing. They all enjoyed the practice. And over the weeks, over the months, they were all starting to come back and say, this is something that's helping us. Doing yoga regularly helps me to manage that pain and the stiffness. So it never goes away, but it certainly becomes less when I am doing yoga regularly. When certain parts of my body are in flare up, it's given me the tools to know that if I do certain stretches, I know it's going to help that part of the body. And that's the teaching of, of Jeff and Jamie um, in order to make those connections. I love going to the live classes, especially because it's a sense of community and you can chat to others and you, know, you laugh together and you can yawn together. And I like the fact that yoga for AS fits in with my schedule. So I can always do the recorded classes at my convenience um, and... Again, whenever, it doesn't matter how bad I'm feeling with fatigue, I, could, I just have to go upstairs and switch the computer on and, and after an hour I feel I feel much better than I did before the hour. And the, the breathing in particular um, really helps me to sleep. So when I do have insomnia, I just try and remember the breathing techniques that I get taught in the yoga classes and this really helps calm my body down, calm my mind down and um, helps me to sleep. So I would definitely um, encourage you, if you haven't done yoga before or you're a bit afraid of what it could look like, then give this a go because it's modified for AS, the poses are great, and it's a great community to belong to. And in the terms of a sense of well-being and managing that pain and, 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 and stiffness, it, it's definitely a, such a good baseline. And I do feel that with yoga as my baseline, then the things I love doing, such as cycling and swimming, is going to help me to do the things that I love. Um, so a huge thumbs up for Jeff and Jamie and Yoga for AS. Hi, I'm Nancy. I'm um, a member of Yoga for AS. It keeps me well. It keeps it's good for mental health. I love the fact both Jamie and Jeff have AS, so they understand positions and how you're feeling that day. So my neck is fused and I have kyphosis. So as a result, it was, this was pre COVID. So it was difficult to get to a studio and then discovered yoga for AS. And, um, I love it. I, I have an unlimited membership. So I try and catch all four live classes a week. Um, they've got a great virtual library, a great Nidra library for the times you can't sleep. Um, I prefer the classes because uh, I like the commitment of making that class. And it's a bit like a support group, you know. I've met people, uh, a lot of people with AS don't know others with AS. So you're in a community of people who all know what you're going through. 
and uh, that's wonderful. And that I could succeed at my own pace with it. So I began to, to be able to move more easily, uh, just bending at the waist, which had been a challenge for me, or to turn my head without pain. And it's been so heartening for me to, to be able to achieve that much. Uh, Jeff often says we're all about comfort here, and, and it's true. So I've, I've, been, I've gained confidence in moving more because I understand it. Um, I understand AS better. It doesn't hurt as much to move. And, um, and that's part of the education you get. That, uh, Jamie and Jeff make sure we understand why certain movements in yoga can help us manage AS specifically. So it's, it's been a very good experience for me, a real good education, and I'm really happy to be part of the Yoga for AS community. Through meeting Jamie, funnily enough, through my brother, I think you guys met at the skate park. Um, my brother said there's this guy who's got the same thing as you, and he's doing yoga for him. We did a couple of sessions and talked about my symptoms and, you know, that, how we could work on it. Initially, it was, you know, it was nice to work with someone where they understood that I had limitations of where I could get to. Yoga for AS classes are great. There's a real understanding amongst the members of how painful and difficult a condition AS is. But also a real positive reassurance that there are lots of things that we can do to help ourselves. I learned something new in every class. And after a year of practice with Yoga for AS, I now have real confidence that I can manage any flare by doing yoga. And that I can do it anywhere. Uh, a wall or a chair are the only props I need to be able to practice comfortably and safely. It's great to have that knowledge and I will always be grateful to Yoga for AS for helping me get there. When we started working with people with AS was there was definitely no one AS. Each person we met with AS had different symptoms. Some of them were very similar but still it's different because everyone is individual. So when you meet one person with AS, you meet literally one person with AS, it doesn't represent the whole population. Yeah. So we designed this idea of a spectrum of courses because there's so many presentations of AS. What we realized is that some people with AS really could benefit from doing yoga purely from a chair and you know maybe some standing poses, but mainly seated because some people with AS have had the disease for a very long time and it's been very high in disease activity. But they can still benefit from yoga, 100%. And then there's other people that have been very active throughout their diagnosis and still have a lot of mobility, but also could really benefit from the practices of yoga. With the virtual library then, what we decided to do was, you know, create these nine courses. And this is something that's gonna to continue to expand as people come and join the virtual library. Each new course that we develop is not from mine and Jeff's ideas, it's from other people with AS coming and saying, I'd love a course on feet or plantar fasciitis or fatigue. And we develop courses out of that. That's how all the courses are sprung. Both of us had found that the relaxation techniques in yoga were helping with our fatigue. So we asked people and they gave us good feedback. So we've now developed some programs for fatigue. So the virtual library is completely separate from the live classes and this came out of development of us realizing that the live classes served a really great purpose. One for those who wanted to have that accountability of attending live and online. And two, to really have that sense of community in the live session. But there's a huge amount of people that want the self-paced option where they can just press play and go. They can do it in their own time, in their own space. And it's very well structured in a way that there's a lot of learning involved. But once you learn the poses, once you learn the practices, you're off to the races. You can press play and go. We not only were talking to other people with AS, we were talking to some healthcare professionals as well, rheumatologists, physiotherapists. And they were all saying, you're on the right track. In research that's been conducted by myself and other scientists over the past 20 years or so, we have seen a variety of benefits for people living with arthritis and rheumatic disease when they practice yoga consistently. People report improved pain, um, around 30% pain reduction, improvements in their ability to function in their daily life, to do things physically, to embody 
physical roles that matter to them, as well as their energy level and how they feel overall. So these are things that people report experiencing when they're practicing yoga. The physical practice of yoga combined with breathing practices and breath integration, mental practices like mindfulness and meditation and relaxation, uh, and also the inclusion of applied yoga philosophy and lifestyle. So yoga as a whole toolbox can result in a variety of different changes or the better for the health and well-being of people living with arthritis and rheumatic diseases. Hello, my name is Letty Bishop. Um, I'm a professor of exercise immunology at Loughborough University. Now, my work looks at how being physically active can lower inflammation, um, and we work with the general public and clinical populations, including people with angst now, we know that regular activity like walking can lower inflammation, but really importantly, evidence also shows that light intensity activity, when it's performed regularly, also lowers levels of inflammatory proteins in your blood. So this is really important because it means activities like yoga can be beneficial in lowering inflammation. So I guess the key message here is you don't have to do intense activity to get the anti-inflammatory effects of regular exercise. And if you start an activity like yoga, you'll see the benefits to your mental well-being as well. So these two things together are just another incentive to move a little bit more. If you have ankylosing spondylitis or AS, it's essential that movement is part of your everyday life. Yoga's had a huge influence on my own fitness programs. When I was first diagnosed with AS, I knew I had to start incorporating more stretching, movement, mobility through yoga to help work on range of motion, to help loosen up the body and break up that stiffness and tightness. Just having something that I enjoy doing that makes me feel better, which I think is really empowering for those of us with AS. So I know that at the end of the day, if I'm in pain, there's a few stretches I can do that will really make me feel better. This is not a simple arthritis or simple back pain where you do some simple Pilates exercise, etc. This yoga is more than that. Yoga will give you more uh, flexibility. That's what we are aiming for. We don't want any patient with ankylosing spondylitis or axial spondyloarthritis to stiffen up. If you do yoga regularly, you won't stiffen up. You are helping your body. You are helping your health. So keep doing the yoga, which will help your movement better. Not only that, it also help you to get you better physically and mentally and psychologically so that you can carry on your life. So it's not only just stiffness is released by yoga, it's multiple and multiple factor. So you go to a restaurant, you're not just having one food, you are having a feast by doing yoga on a regular basis. Our vision is that if you're diagnosed at 18, like Jamie, or at 60, like me, that at the point of diagnosis, you're told, well, this is the way the illness can go. But you, with your self-care, try some yoga for AS. Have a look at the virtual library. Have a look at the live classes, so that at that point of diagnosis, you introduce not just hope, but something you can actually do which will really help you.